So I saw something on um, Nick Cannon's show. I don't yes. know if you saw that. He had a doctor on, and he, talk, he said, there's no health benefits in CMOS. Did you see that clip? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it, it, it kind of went viral, and he was saying that CMOS is overrated, is not necessary, and pretty much he was just saying, like, it's kind of a myth that CMOS is good for you. Yeah. I, I don't know if you've heard that. Not, you haven't heard it from him, but just that general yeah. census. So what's your thoughts on that, and what in your take – Mm. Can you give us a pitch on why CMOS? What's the actual health benefits of CMOS? Right. So, yes, to answer your question, I, I have heard people say stuff like that about CMOS or, you know, it doesn't have minerals, it doesn't have anything. I know that not to be true because we've actually lab tested it uh, with credible labs, PhD scientists that literally gave us reports that we had to show sharks to prove it uh, ourselves. And then a two, just a hypothesis, like I, I went to school for, for bi biomedical engineering and I worked for NASA, so I have a science background. And uh, CMOS has been around for well over 300 years from, from the uh, potato famine that happened in Ireland back you know, in the 1800s. It was the only thing that kept them alive when, when there was no food. So to say that it doesn't have uh, nutrients or health benefits, we know that to not be true just because of how long it's been, uh, you know, being consumed by humans over 300 years. And, and again, the, the, the lab test uh, proves the mineral content in there. We know what minerals do. We know what zinc does for the body. We know what potassium does for our body. So if you can prove that these minerals are in this algae, then you know you're going to get the benefits from each of those minerals that's in said algae. How do you prove that those minerals are in the algae? You test it. And we tested it, and there's well over 64, 65 minerals in this one plant, in this one uh, sea algae. Um, to answer your question about the benefits, you're getting all the benefits from the minerals. So one thing, CMOS uh, has uh, fiber in it. So the fiber treats the gut. Uh, the gut is where our immune system lives. You know, you have uh, potassium and zinc and uh, vitamin A, K, D, and all these things in CMOS that our body uh, is going to extract whatever it needs and deposit it in different parts of our body uh, as needed. And then, too, uh, just testimonials. Like, we, we've had so many reviews giving us, like, beautiful stories of how CMOS, what CMOS is doing for them. Um, I have a mom who has a son that has sickle cell, and he's in extreme pain a lot. Uh, CMOS is an anti-inflammatory, and it, it boosts energy as well. Uh, and I've, I've heard from her that, man, yes, CMOS is making such a huge difference in my son's life. He's actually able to have somewhat normal days. Um, I've had couples who are, were sterile and trying to conceive literally telling me that, hey, we have a CMOS baby on the way, <laughs> you know, we were able to get pregnant. Uh, <laughs> we had someone that wasn't so happy about being pregnant. They're <laughs> like, you know, uh, I'm on contrabands. I have no idea how this stuff st uh, still happened. And we're like, yeah, uh, CMOS is a fertility booster for men and women. And they were actually not that happy about it, you know, but it still speaks to how powerful, how powerful it is. Um, I've had older men, uh, one of my mentors in his 60s uh, has arthritis in his back, which is, you can imagine how painful that is, one of the largest muscles in the body, and almost everything you do uses the, their back, so he, he, you know, it was hard for him to walk, he was like, I haven't been able to, like, clean up my garage and, you know, do the things that I, that I like to do, and I gave him the product, and three days later, he contacts me and says, I was able to clean up my garage for the first time in years, you know, so... It's, it's, it's one thing, one, numbers don't lie. You know, you have a scientific breakdown from a lab that tells you exactly what's in the product. You just can't fake that. So that's one. How long it's been in, in uh, a part of the human diet, too. If it was nothing and it wasn't doing any benefits, it, it would have it, it would have eradicated itself over time. People would just not talk about it or use it. And then three, uh, when people do take it, the benefits that they feel. I've had people that were COVID positive going through respiratory issues, loss of smell, taste, and everything, tell me that in 48 hours their symptoms subsided since they started taking the CMOS. And, and this was people all over, all over different states, different circles, people that don't know me, you know? So you put all that together and it's like for someone to say that it has no nutrients and no benefits, I would challenge them to say, okay, get it tested. 
Because if you get it tested and it comes back that there's no minerals in there, then whistle blow the whole industry, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, as soon as you do that, you're going to see the true facts. And, you know, I don't, I haven't seen that clip and I don't know who's, who said that, but I've, I've heard other people say it who are kind of like bro scientists, you know? Let, me, like, let me play the clip you know? for you. Yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. have a proper response. So okay. Yeah. Both scientists? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, they're not actually <laughs> scientists. They're not in a lab. They don't, they're not working with someone certified. Yeah. And they're just saying stuff. We got, you we know, got, we got and, the and, and this stuff is verifiable. Yeah. You know, yeah. we have the technology to verify. But why, why he gets the clip to, is there a core demographic? Like, who is the demographic that you're selling the product to? Is it men? Is it women? Is there, a, is there an age range that, that you see is the, the, Largest client? Yeah, so by far women. <laughs> women just dominate health and beauty. They they care a lot more about about appearance and youthfulness and you know stuff like All right, that. So I'm gonna play this and then we can we can play it okay. in episode two so the audience can hear it. But okay. Top herbs Perfect. and minerals. You know, there's a phenomenon going around right now, sea moss. I was a big believer in sea moss. I was told that it has ninety eight minerals or something in it that my body needs and I was like, All right, I'm all for sea moss. How do we feel about sea moss? So I think take a step back. Is there any information that you're mineral deficient in your body? And the answer is no. I mean a well rounded diet in America, you have all the vitamins, all the nutrients you need. We don't see mineral deficiency, we don't see vitamin deficiency in our country. So taking more of something isn't necessarily better. I think that's the message. You're also trusting that whoever is giving you the sea moss, what's in that sea moss? You think they're actually looking and making sure there's not a lot of mercury in it, not a lot of other heavy metals? No, they're just taking something, putting it in, you know, grinding it up and giving it to you. So it really worries me what's in it. It really worries me that more of something isn't necessarily better. If there was some data it worked, I'd be the first to say, Nick, you should be doing this. And they could actually make a claim on the bottle. They can't make any claims because they have no data and you have no idea what's inside. That to me is worrisome. Oh, this is great. So I, I'm really glad you shared that. So there's, there's a couple... We'll give you a chance to, you know, yeah, like yeah. In, a, in a court of law. You gotta oh, yeah, I can cook on that. Yeah. yeah, so there's a couple There's a couple uh, things there. One, he said, um, you know, people don't have a mineral deficiency if you have a well-rounded diet and you're getting your nutrients from your food. Uh, I would agree that if you're eating foods that have a lot of minerals and vitamins on a daily basis and it's not uh, nutrient-dead foods, then you are getting a lot of nutrients that the human body needs. However, we know that's not happening. We're in a nutrient-dead society. Most of the foods we eat are processed, door dashed, restaurants. And, I mean, even our fruits don't have seeds anymore. You know, mm -hmm. you have to go to special places to get them. So, yeah, in a perfect world, you're eating from the Garden of Eden. You probably don't need sea moss. You're getting everything that your body needs. But we are in a nutrient-dead world. And, you know, if you're not getting your nutrients every day, like a lot of us aren't, especially on the sad diet, standard American diet, then that's where supplements come from. There's a reason why people start their day with a male multivitamin or a female multivitamin or, you know, a certain uh, regimens every day to keep yourself healthy because you're getting it more in a compounded uh, uh, a supplement versus having to eat so much greens or juice so much things to get the, the heavy impact. So, He's not incorrect. If you, I mean, if you're someone that's like a raw vegan, uh, you're juicing all the time and going to a farmer's market and getting seeded stuff, you're probably getting the nutrients your body needs. And you can tell by the look of that person's skin, their overall health, that, that their body uh, has the nutrients they have. Uh, that's not the case for most Americans. You know, based on how we eat day in and day out, grabbing something, 444 menus, stuff like that, mm -hmm. you take your CMOS. You're getting the nutrients that you would have gotten if you had a whole day of fruits and vegetables and high nutrient dense foods. So that's one. Uh, second thing he mentioned was, and it's very true, who are you getting the CMOS from? Uh, some people don't do the mineral testing that we did and the heavy metal testing that we did. It, they're kind of like, like Kevin said on <laughs> on my Shark Tank episode. You know, when you for him to find CMOS is almost like a drug deal. It's like he has to get it out of someone's kitchen or mm -hmm. someone's whipping it up somewhere, you know? And in my and in, in my case, we started making it in my mom's kitchen, you know? So it's like, where are you getting it from commercially? Is it tested? Is it cleaned properly? Is the water is coming from full of mercury or heavy metals? We test for that, so we know that's not our problem. So he, he made a good point there. Um, and then another thing he said was um, about data. So... 
there's not a lot of studies on CMOS. And the reason why there's not a lot of studies on CMOS is each study is about $100,000. If you want to prove that CMOS is, for example, I won't put on my bottle, on my bottle, this is a fertility booster, because I would need a study to prove that it's a fertility booster. What I can prove is that CMOS has zinc in it, and zinc has a lot of studies already that's already proven and paid for that I don't have to pay for. So let's just talk about what zinc does. Zinc increases our libido as men, our testosterone, our sperm count, our sperm mobility, uh, thus increasing our, uh, our fertility. For women, it's a hormone balancer uh, because of the, the minerals that's in it as well. So no, I won't make a claim and people won't make a claim saying CMOS does this, but I will say CMOS has this in it and based on what's in it, these are what these minerals do. So what he's saying isn't wrong, but it's also, it's also skewed. It's a perfect world. If you're eating a perfect uh, diet, you don't need this supplement. Uh, there's no studies on CMOS, but there's studies on every mineral that CMOS contains. Um, uh, where are you getting it from? Are you just grinding it up and throwing it in a bottle? Yes. Whoever you're buying CMOS from, ask them to show you uh, the photo certificate, their mineral. Like, even with my, my mineral breakdown, it has my company name on it. So you couldn't even, like, take it from somewhere else and say, oh, our CMOS has these minerals. Because there's a seal on there, and it has the company that, that, uh, uh, that paid for it and the origin of where that CMOS came from. I could show my customers these things. So he's right, wherever you're buying it, you know, ask those questions. But uh, other than that, I mean, he's not, he's not necessarily saying it doesn't work. He's saying that there's not studies on it, on the actual uh, CMOS as a finished product, and that if you're, if you're getting all your nutrients from uh, a standard diet and a good diet, then your body probably gets what it needs. Mm. I mean, so that's how I feel about that. <laughs>